it going guys it's your boy Logan Smokes and we're playing Black Rose this is part three in the series hopefully you guys have been enjoy it if you do please leave a like and comment I'll always try to reply and like your comment as soon as I can and let's just get on into the motherfucking bitches party yeah the optimistic cynic guy shit ho got a hell of a grip there's never a problem so niggas is probably so I am back playing this game again I've been doing a motherfucking upload barrage since. What was that note here before? It had to be. There are a lot of strange things I've seen around this place. For instance, the fireplace that isn't even a real fireplace. It's some kind of ladder shaft, but there's a tough metal grate fastened over it that appears to be controlled electronically, most likely by the lockdown system. I'm assuming the shaft leads down to the basement, but it must have been sealed oh off because God. it's not accessible from anywhere down there. No basement. Another thing I've started wondering about is a metal handle that's been sitting on Michael's desk for about a month now. I asked about it once out of curiosity, but he avoided giving me a direct answer. He told me it broke off of something. I had already assumed this, seeing as it's covered in dirt and rusted around the edges where it had clearly been attached to something for a very long time. Oh. Perhaps the biggest mystery I've encountered here is the place Myrtle always went for privacy. Where's that? She was often depressed, so she was always going into the downstairs hall on her way to wherever it was she went to be alone. However, she seemed to vanish. The only place she could have gone from that hallway is down into the basement, but I went down there one day to ask her something, and I couldn't find her. I'm wondering if there's a secret room somewhere down oh there. Oh my god. After all, I did learn from Michael that this building is from the 1600s, long before it was ever a funeral home. Great. Buildings as old as this one sometimes have quite a few secret areas. Quite a few. More than that. Fuck. Anyways. I've been uploading Barrage because I've been trying to... Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. They still haven't buried them. Sullivan has been lying in his coffin now for two days and Myrtle for three. Because Conrad refused to touch Myrtle's coffin after her funeral, it had to be put aside so Sullivan could have his. Conrad still simply doesn't want to have anything to do with the burial of either of them, even if all he's doing is preparing a future grave without actually touching the coffins. I'm starting to wonder if he had some type of unpleasant encounter with Myrtle and Sullivan's coffins, or he heard some absurd rumor about their corpses. What's sad is that Myrtle and Sullivan don't have relatives who care enough about their burials to actually do something about this. Michael was embarrassed to have to tell all the relatives and friends that the actual burials couldn't be held yet. Even so, none of them objected. Maybe they just didn't see a point in doing so, considering the person they would be doing it for is already gone. I don't know. Dot, dot, dot. As far as feeling nervous around coffins, I do get a strange vibe now in the visitation room. The atmosphere in there is starting to feel different. The air feels heavier, a little bit oppressive even. It seems to be more noticeable today than it was yesterday. I'm not quite sure if I believe in ghosts or not, but it seems to fit what I've heard before about locations having uncomfortable negative energy due to evil or extremely upset spirits. Maybe it's just normal stuff here. Maybe. There aren't any windows in there, and it is the middle of summer. It makes sense, I understand, but what about the laughing, sir? What about the laughing? Well, before this goes on, I'm just gonna let you guys know, but this fucking shit's happening hard. I'm uploading a lot of videos, so if you guys can tell any of your friends about me, that would be super awesome. Share my videos, you know, anything like that will help. And even likes and views, that helps a lot too. But now we'll get back into the the awesome house we are in and um I don't know exactly where we're supposed to go now I'm guessing the fireplace is a good place to go uh, I always hate the suspense of this game there's no squat button and why are all these doors always shut on me no sense. Is 
the family room gonna be open? Cause I heard laughing. I heard laughing. Oh, another one. Great. Chapel. It turns out that Devin Chapel. got into the morgue by stealing Sullivan's key card from the office. Mrs. Rains had been in there and forgot to lock it when she left. Nobody knows exactly how the kid figured out the passcode, but considering what a flake his mother is, that's probably just something else she inadvertently compromised. They're burying Sullivan with a few of his belongings from the funeral home. I guess because he had worked here for so long and was so loyal to his job. Michael revealed that one of those belongings is Sullivan's keycard. Of course, they would need to deactivate it from the system to avoid any breaches in the chance that it was stolen. But then again, Mrs. Rains would be the one who would do that. I discovered earlier today that Devin has stolen the system lock override key as well and hidden it somewhere in the building. This has got to be the most troublesome, ill-behaved kid I have ever encountered. Well? You haven't played bully then. Oh shit, alright. Let's fucking go. Sprint in! Fuck everything. Oh my god. It's such a scary game. See, I don't know if I'm hearing a bug. Or if there's a bug in here. Are you scared a man killed by train after blinding himself? Let's go. I swear there's a bug zoom in somewhere. Hopefully there's not a bug. Gouged out his own eyes using a scalpel from the funeral home's preparation room. Why? Oh, they're so cute. They're so computer generated. <laughs> they never buried either of them. Both are still here. What the fuck? There's something written on the back. <clears throat> they say if you take his rose, he wakes up. That's the only way his coffin will open. I heard that he also tears you into three pieces if he catches you. Oh! <coughs> Is there gonna be a race scene now? Is that what the fuck's gonna happen? I'm so excited! Let's just do it! Oh shit. Oh shit. Something's under the table. Oh my god. What the fuck is it? Oh god! They won't... They won't find it ever. There's a key here. It's labeled V room 2. V room 2? Shit! I'm pissed. She's... She knows that... I got it, I think. Oh. Oh my god! Oh, just run! Just run! All those attending the funeral service for Sullivan James gather in the visitation room. Shit! Shit! Oh! Oh! Oh my! What? Did they all come in here now? Oh shit, there's something out there. Run and run and run 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 run! The key is in the coffin, is what it's saying. Unlock this bitch and open up first. Oh, oh shit. 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 What the fuck? Just do it. Just do it, Logan. There's a black origami rose laying on the top. Take it. No. Dare you. I don't want to take it. It looks scary enough in here. Oh my god. Do I have yes, Logan. To? You're going to have to take it. Fucking take it. Run. Now get the fuck out. Oh shit! Nope, 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 nope. Oh god. Ah! Oh, yes, nice. Great. Great. Okay. Okay. Sullivan James shit. was blind as a bat. I'll, I'll stay back here. Sullivan James fell down flat. Sullivan what? James is withered. What? And blue. No! Stop! Sullivan James oh shit! Is coming oh shit! For you. What? What? 
Why is he coming? I took the rose. He told me to. He told me to take the rose. I didn't mean to. Holy shit. I'm just going to look everywhere. Fucking Christ. Oh, oh shit. Ah! Fuck. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Run. Ah! Get the key. Get the key. Get the key. I'm out of here. Fucking run. Get, get, get. Ah! Out, out. Shit, this is a corner, isn't it? Christ, please don't see me. Please don't. Please don't. Shit me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Ah! Oh my. God. God damn it. Continue. Where the fuck does this put me? Okay. 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 Great. This just starts me from a save point again. Oh. Fuck. Oh. Get a well, anyways. Thank you guys for watching. This was part three. Um, for part four, I will get to the part where I was when he's chasing me and then I'll just start the recording there um, so be prepared for that episode that was a real intense episode I yeah we had to take the rose we couldn't do anything else but thanks for watching and please leave a like if you liked it so peace out guys